Hi guys, welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're doing early times. The old, tried and true, everybody loves it, versus the new Sazerac version. And um, basically what we wanna see is what are the differences? Is it an improvement? Is it a not improvement? Because who knows? I mean, who knows? Differences in the bottles. Here's how you're going to know which one is which. The old one, shorter. Shoulder is shorter. Total bottle height is shorter. The cap is also quite different. Um, this one was already open, so it doesn't have the, the little plastic piece of blue that covered up the black twist-off cap. The new one has a metallic shrinky deal with a metallic cap like a, a Weller 107. Um, other than that, the label on the new one is a little bit longer than the old one. And on the back, um, the labels for the new one are actually smaller. And also you can look at the, the um, DSP numbers. So it shows a DSP KY Kentucky 354, which stayed the same across both bottles, but then the second number, the DSP KY414 on the old one, is replaced by DSP KY12 on the new one. So that tells you who owns the new stuff. So, that's how you tell the bottles apart. Let's see how we tell the nose and the palate apart and see if there may be no difference. There could be zero difference. This could be the same exact juice. They just changed the bottle, companies changed hands, and Sazerac is now in control, or Sazerac may have decided we can't have nice things and wants to ruin everything. So let's see, let's dive right in, let's see. Old first, because we know we love it. Sweet, delicious. Beautiful. Fantastic whiskey for under 30 bucks. Competes with stuff in the $50 range quite easily. Cinnamon, a little bit of rye spice, really nice vanilla, really nice creamy oak. Really nice cinnamon. The cinnamon's right on, sprinkled on top of the rye. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, let's nose the new and see if we can tell any difference. Oh, immediately. There is a difference. The nose on the new one is very nice, but it is different. The, no the, the notes just like hit you in a different way. This one is almost sweeter vanilla Less rye impact. Really nice still caramel, nice oak. There's a hint of a funkiness that I don't get on the old one. It's right behind the vanilla, in between the vanilla and the oak, there's a little funky note. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so there's a, definitely a difference. The nose, though, on the new one has me slightly encouraged because it's it actually smells nice. So let's taste the old first. Oh, yes, just what I expect. Beautiful. Mm. Goes peanut butter on the middle of the palate. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful sub $30 whiskey. Punches way above its weight class. Let's taste the new. Oh. That is significantly different than the palate, I mean than the nose. I'm not, I don't like that. What is that? It's, yeah. This makes no sense, but it reminds me of old tub on the palate. Like watered down nut water 
with alcohol. It's just oak bitter, nutty, and alcohol forward. The nose is nice. What the hell? Yeah. It does remind me a little bit of 1792. It reminds me of somewhere between 1792 and Old Tub. Like watered down, nutty bookers, but like watered down so much that the flavor's not there anymore. It's like in between that and 1792 BIB, I guess. Wow, that's, that's really disappointing. Wow, oh my gosh. Bitter, astringent, harsh, prickly. Wow, I forgot to say this earlier. This bottle was sent to me by one of my patrons. His name is John Parker. Thank you so much for sending me this. I was really interested to see what the difference would look like between these two. Um, and now I know to hoard my few bottles of the old one that I have left. If you see the older short bottle with the black cap and the plastic wrap, buy everyone you see. Hoard them, bunker them, put them away. Uh, I'm hoping that this gets better. I'm hoping that this isn't the, the final product version of this early times bottled and bond from Sazerac because this is not an improvement. This is definitely a, a lower quality product. Um, flavor wise, mouth feel wise, the nose is great. Like how the hell do you create a great nose and, and really, really disappointing palate? Wow. That funkiness grows on the nose after you taste it. So it starts to diminish the nose a little bit. So if you're gonna drink this, just smell it and then dump it. <laughs> Don't ever drink it because you'll be sad. Funky, yeah, the funkiness starts to take over. Yeah, that's, that's so disappointing. This is why we can't have nice things. Freaking Sazerac, man, come on. So much better. Oh yeah, wash that bad taste out of my mouth, thank you. Yeah, that's really freaking disappointing, god dang. Well, that's a bummer. Thanks for watching, now you know, now we both know. I really hope this gets better, I hope this isn't what it's going to be from now on because that really really is a sad commentary on where bourbon's going because if Sazerac's just going to buy up things that are great and friggin change them and make them not great anymore that's really going to be a bad time for the future of bourbon so thanks for watching guys until next time i hope you have a great day